Hi, I'm Ken with Flame Tech, and today I'd like to introduce you to the world's smallest and simplest way to make your gas fireplace smart. The firebug may be really small in size. In fact, it's only half the size of a Tic Tac box, but it's packed with features that allows you to operate the fireplace from your smartphone or from something like an iPad. Any smart device that can connect via Bluetooth can operate the unit. So let's take a look and see what's included, and we'll do a little quick unboxing of the firebug. Inside this box, you'll find the unit itself, a battery, and it's a CR2450, same thing that goes in like the uh, key fob for your car. It also comes with a connection cable and some simple, easy to use instructions. First thing you do when you get a firebug, pop it out of the case. You can take a coin or a screwdriver. There's a little slot on the side here. So you can pop the case open, take your battery, snap it into place, and then simply close the case back. Now this operates a millivolt fireplace, which is the most common fireplace control in America. The great thing about the small size is it's easy to hide or disguise. Especially if you're dealing with a very aesthetically pleasing fireplace, you don't want to see a big mechanical box there to control it. This can be hidden in the lava rock or behind a pine cone or anywhere just to get it out of sight. Now, to connect to the fireplace is really simple. Millivolt fireplaces have a valve that have three prongs on them. I've got one here that you can see a little bit better, but it actually has three terminals. The terminals are marked TH, TP, and TPTH. TP stands for the thermopile, TH is for thermostat. And that's the two terminals we're going to connect to. On most valves that you'll see, the terminals we want are the two outside units. Some of them are a little bit easier to get to, like this. This one, you can see one's turned crossways, no big deal. The unit comes with a nice little cable, and on the ends, the cable have what we call piggyback clips. So it actually has both male and female clips. So if you're plugging it into wires from a switch or whatever, you simply slide onto the male terminal. If we're going to put it on a valve like this one, then we're going to use the female connection and you just simply slide those on. Now you'll notice there's two different color wires, but don't let that bug you. This is not polarity sensitive, so it doesn't matter which wire plugs to which terminal. So let's hook it up to a unit so that we can show you how it works to turn it on and off. Again, not polarity sensitive, so we can simply plug the two terminals in. Make sure that you get them on there snugly. And then on the other end, to plug to the actual fire bug itself, it's just got a little DC barrel jack. And if you look here, simply plug that in, and the installation of the fire bug is just that simple. 